Welcome to the Scott Allen Creative Vlog. I am one of your hosts, Jason Brewer, and with me is the founder of Scott Allen Creative, Jeff Terpstra. In this episode, we wanted to pay tribute and acknowledge one of our clients, Veterans Heritage Project, where we have done some work with them and we wanna just honor them in this episode, but also discuss kind of the process that they're going through in rebranding their name and everything. Yeah, I just wanna thank them first of all for the honor and privilege of being a part of that transition and especially Michelle and her board and other veterans that we interviewed and board members that we interviewed, donors that we interviewed. It was just such an honor to get to know your organization, Michelle and to really have a deep understanding of the heart of your organization. And what they do is they have students interview veterans and have the veterans share their, their service story. And then if the student records that, and either through video or audio recording, it can be archived in the National Archives. And the beauty of that whole relationship is first of all, the veterans, for many of them, it's the very first time that they've shared some memories. And what we realized was that every veteran story is worth sharing because they gave their life in service to their country. You know, they didn't have to be a combat veteran for their story to be worth sharing. So that was an insight that we realized. And also, for a lot of the veterans, it was the first time their families heard their story, mm. which really made it some beautiful moments of bonding with their families. For the student here in the story, they learned not just about that veteran's historical narrative, but they learned about the character qualities that it takes to put others first, to live a life of service and be dedicated to that. And literally for some of the veterans that we interviewed who lost their limbs or lost different physical abilities or lo certainly lost some of their best friends in battle, and to see the emotional scars and everything that they sacrificed for us. For the students to carry with them the rest of their life, what it means to live a life of service was a, a gift that the veterans gave these students. And the teachers that are involved and the administration that is involved to help make these stories happen. So the educators that, that really facilitated these relationships, they were also a key part of the organization and they came to Scott Allen, came to you, and with that desire to rename, and because there may have been some confusion with their current um, branding of what they do or what they're associated with and all that stuff. And so there was just a time to sit down and brainstorm and try to figure out a rebrand that they can move forward with. And so talk about that process. Yeah, the reason why they wanted to rename, number one is because there's another national organization with a very similar name that has right. Veterans Heritage in the name. So that was a really compelling reason. And in that context, they wanted to expand beyond the Phoenix area and expand really into other states and ultimately throughout the country. And so they wanted to position the organization as a launch for that expansion. So the timing is beautiful. And those are the reasons why they wanted to rename. And as we were going through all the research, uh, we actually gave them a name that we fell in love with, and it was Story Honor, but they weren't happy with it. And we were frustrated because they weren't happy with it, but ultimately it led us to imprints of honor, which is why we're so glad that they said no to Story Honor, because <laughs> imprints of honor we felt really was much stronger in the end than story honor. And so we're very grateful that Michelle was persistent on making us change. Because <laughs> we're, you know, this, this is the best thing for them in the end. Well, I even remember sitting in a room as we were brainstorming and throwing all the names up on the board and options. And when you see the final product or hear the final name, there's obviously a process before it, and there's so many options. Our heart was drawn to certain ones, and then it was like, man, we really like this one. And then that one was dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> and it did, like you said, forced the team to figure it out. Work harder. Work Go harder. To it. Just and there, keep going. There's a lesson in there where you don't want to settle for good on your way to great. Absolutely. And, good point. And I feel like that's 
what we had to do is, is yeah, this is good, but imprints of honor is great for them. Yeah, we, you know, when you look at the logo design, obviously the star with a, a thumbprint within the shape of a star, because that's, that every thumbprint is unique. Every story is unique, obviously, right? All of our experiences, but yet there, there's equal value in each person's life. And so leaving that permanent imprint in National Archives, that really made sense. And then the imprint that that veteran makes on that student's heart for the rest of their life mm -hmm. and a life of character that just kind of wrote itself in a sense, right? Those two dimensions are seen both in the logo mark and in the name. Mm -hmm. there you and I, I just, one more thought. Yeah. You know, you might introduce a new name and logo and you might get some kickback. Um, People might not like it because they weren't involved in the process or whatever their reason is. But when you know it's right and you believe that it's right, it, it is right for you and it's something that you can move forward with joy and confidence. Michelle has already said that she has shared it with people and sometimes people gasp when they hear it because they get it immediately. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, we're so excited for you, Michelle, and for the organization. So grateful again to be part of that, that transformation and we wanted to thank you for that. Yeah, thank you Veterans Heritage Project for serving those who have served us on a much deeper level, giving the greatest sacrifice for us. So thank you for what you have done.